Hello, this is the weekly general reading and it's 12.54 a.m. on January 17th, 2022. So let's see what your week holds for you. See what we got coming up in the next week. We do have Mercury retrograde, uh, Venus retrograde, the full moon is in Cancer. And we do have a uh, full wolf moon on the 17th and 18th. So, let's see here. This should be interesting. And I'm just going to move everything out of the way. We have the Emperor. Um, he's definitely an earth sign, a Capricorn. You can see the rams here, the goat's head. He's a ruler, he's higher education, he's a leader, he's powerful, and he's disciplined. He's a very big disciplinary, and that's how he rules his kingdom. And he's full of um, success, and he's detail-oriented, and grounded, and practical. And that's how he set everything forward. Um, that's how he's put everything in motion, is being disciplined. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Again, another ruler card, a leader. Um, Pentacles always mean finances, money, um, estates, inheritance, you know, anything like that. Contracts. Um and he's a ruler and a leader too. And as you can see here, he's full of abundance. Um, he's just absolutely decked out in everything. Gold, he has his gold scepter. He's holding um, a pinnacle, which represents coins. Um, he is Taurus energy. You can see the bull down here. And again, another earth card. Tauruses are detailed oriented down to earth cultivated grounded and practical and whenever he lays besides the emperor um you know that's a power team right there and uh, that's a tag team uh, you know you got two leader cards two ruler cards and also two very successful cards because those are earth cards and taurus and capricorn together they're unstoppable um in fact, Taurus and Capricorn are one of the most successful signs, two of the most successful signs in the Zodiac. So, um, and Capricorn is. If you ever known a Capricorn, Capricorns are all about money. Um, they're all about how they're going to stack those coins. And now we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords means that there's information coming quickly. It's moving fast. Um, there's a message that needs to be delivered. And that, it's, you know, very, I shouldn't say common, but it doesn't surprise me that this card was pulled because we're in Mercury retrograde and Mercury is the planet of communication. And also, with the full moon being in Cancer, it's time to release some emotion and communicate those to people that you need to communicate to. It's time to open up. And he's telling you to move fast and move swiftly and get that um, communication going. And now we have the Six of Pentacles. And um, this is a very, very good card, too. Um, she, this is just like a painting. Um, she's very intelligent, creative, independent, uh, definite Leo energy here, center stage, artistic. Um, she, she holds wisdom and seeks wisdom and knowledge. Um, she has the bird here um, representing knowledge. Um, she's abundant. She's stacking those coins too. And she's doing it by being individual, by being herself, by being artistic, by being quirky. Um, just an overall very, very good, talented, artistic, 
eccentric, quirky card. And, you know, she's doing that by, she's stacking those coins by being herself. She's being an individual. And then we have the hermit and we have a snowstorm and ice. So of course we're gonna draw the hermit. Um, the hermit is seeking knowledge, but he's scared to seek that knowledge. This is a winter card. You can see the snow. He's cold. He's got the lantern. Maybe the electric's out. Um, he's uh, seeking uh, knowledge, but he doesn't know how to find that knowledge because he doesn't know how to take that first step. He doesn't know how to leave his house or how to interact with people. And that's okay because, you know, right now we're going through a pandemic. Um, it's expensive to go out. I mean, if you leave the house, you're spending $30, $40. And also it's cold. So of course we're going to draw the hermit. So, um, you know, that's a very good card too. You know, it ties in with what we're going through right now. And also Mercury is cold and we're in Mercury retrograde. And um, let's see what we have next, the tower. And of course we're gonna draw the tower too because it's January, it's a time for new beginnings. Uh, the tower means um, disruption, um, unwanted changes, um, with darkness there comes light and we're in winter and we're wanting spring and um it's about starting over it's about uh building your foundation from the bottom up um you know right now things are hard people you know we're in a pandemic we're losing jobs it's after christmas it's winter a lot of people in construction or do work outside in the winter you know they're losing money. Uh, people are losing money and, you know, getting fired because of COVID or missing because one of their family members have COVID. Um, people are not wanting to go out that much. So, of course, you're going to lose a lot of things. It could be a job. It could be your home. Um, but you're going to start over. And it could be a relationship. Um, right now, you know, it retrogrades, especially Mercury retrogrades, since it's about the planet of communication. Exes always tend to come back in your life, um, you know, and tell them no. They're an ex for a reason. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's a definite reason why that tower was drawn, but it's going to be okay. And um, I'm going to shuffle these again, just so nobody thinks I'm just got the cards all laid out. Got it. And next we have the Queen of Cups. And of course we're going to draw the Queen of Cups. She's Cancer. She's Water. Um, she's Pisces, she's Scorpio, but the full moon is in Cancer. And see, no matter how I shuffle these cards, they're always going to come out the way they're supposed to. And um, she's all about emotion. She's filled with emotion. You can see uh, the water here. Um, she's tranquil. She's very, um, or tranquil, I don't know how to say it. She's very twink, tranquil, calm, um, you know, She's got her chalice there with gold. Um, she's kind of meditating, contemplating. Uh, she's a leader. She's a ruler. She rules with her emotions. Um, she doesn't lash out to her kingdom. She doesn't lash out to her people. Um, she tries to consider their feelings. She's a very motherly card. She's a very kind, loving card. And also, she's a communication. She's wanting to communicate with you. Um, you know, and of course it's retrograde and cancer in full moon. And of course there's going to be a lot of communication and emotions. Um, she's here to teach you and tell you, you know, to, um, you can have your emotions. You can have a lot of emotions at once. It's just in how you handle them and control them. Um, kind of like a give and take and a balance. And then we have the Six of Swords. 
Um, the Six of Swords are about communication too. And this is walking away. Um, this represents walking away from a bad situation, a hurtful situation or person. Um, you can tell it's kind of like the refugees and the mother's sad, the son's or the child's sad, the father's, you know, taking them away. Um, they're going, they're going to start a new life. Um, they're leaving that bad situation and it is a new year. It's a new beginning. You know, it's time to start over. And then we have the eight of pentacles and you know, this whole, um, this whole, Reading here has had a lot of pinnacles, and the Eight of Pinnacles is wonderful. Um, you know, he's stacking them coins. He's working hard. He's successful. This is all about craftsmanship, hobbies, business ventures, promotions, um, anything like that. Uh, the pinnacles always represent coins, um, and and in a lot of other countries and or cultures and religions. The coins do represent, uh, the pinnacles do represent coins because pinnacles are considered good luck and good fortune, you know, in different beliefs around the world. So, of course, you know, he's stacking that. He's stacking those coins. He's working hard. He's here to show you that hard work, perseverance, you know, everything. Set it in motion and get you a vision board. Set those goals and work hard and you will achieve everything that you want. And of course, he represents Capricorn. We are in Capricorn season right now. And also the Emperor, of course, we would draw him. It is Capricorn season. I think it's only Capricorn season for like another day or two. Hold on, let me see. I think we may be on the cusp. December 22nd to January 19th. I said a couple days. I was right. So, um, of course, we're in Capricorn right now. And Capricorn, they're hardworking, detail-oriented. Um, they're very strong-willed. They're very persistent. They're very set in their mind, set in their goals. And so, it's Capricorn season. Of course, we're going to have a reading about money and, um, you know, working hard and success. And, you know, I think that this week's reading is a very good reading. Um, you know, we got some swift communication, things moving fast. Um, you know, it's cold. Everybody wants to stay in. We got the hermit here. We do have a lot of pinnacles. Um, the tower is all about starting over. I think, you know, and once it warms up and spring gets here, everybody's going to be okay with that. We won't be hermits anymore, hopefully. And also, um, you know, there's new beginnings, a new year, new beginnings. Spring's also about new beginnings, too. Everything's growing. Um, fertility, rebirth, rejuvenation. So, you know, I think this is a good reading for this week. And I hope everybody has a great week. And I hope everybody's successful and abundant. And always remember positive um, affirmations and uh, manifested and affirmations, uh, they are set in stone. You affirm it. It's already set and done. So affirm that success. You guys have a great week. It's 108 a.m. on January 17th, 2022.